Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. In today's video, we are going to take up another very very interesting and challenging question from algebra for the real values of x and we have to find largest root also. So let's get started with our algebraic manipulation step. We are going to add 4 to both sides. So I will cancel minus 4 and plus 4 from the RHS. And we are going to split our LHS 4 as 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So we will be writing 1 plus 5 over x minus 5. Second one we will write 1 plus 7 over x minus 7. Third one we will be writing 1 plus 33 over x minus 33. And our last and fourth one would be 1 plus 35 over x minus 35. And in RHS we have to write x square minus 20x. Now we are going to take LCM. So I will be writing x minus 5 plus 5 which is x. So x in the numerator over x minus 5 plus x minus 7 plus 7 will give us x in the numerator, x minus 7 in the denominator plus x over x minus 33 plus x over x minus 35. In RHS we will take x common out. So in the bracket we will write x minus 20. Now if I will plug in x equal to 0, so LHS will become 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 which is 0 and RHS will be 0 times minus 20, 0. So x equal to 0 is our first real solution of the equation. So in place of x we can write here 1, let's write. So here we will be writing 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 times. So our first real solution is x equal to 0. Now we are going to club first and fourth term of LHS all together, second and third term of LHS all together. So we can write our equation 1 over x minus 5 plus 1 over x minus 35. Then we will write second and third term 1 over x minus 7 plus 1 over x minus 33. In RHS we will write x minus 20. Again we have to take LCM. So I will write x minus 35 plus x minus 5 which is equal to 2x minus 40. If I will take 2 common, so in the bracket I can write x minus 20. In denominator, we will multiply both x minus 5 with x minus 35 plus in the denominator we are going to write x minus 7 times x minus 33. In numerator x minus 33 plus x minus 7 which is 2x minus 40. Again we will take 2 common. In the bracket we can write x minus 20 equal to RHS is also x minus 20. Now if I will plug in x equal to 20, will it satisfy our equation? Let's check. 20 minus 20, 20 minus 20. So LHS will give us 0 plus 0, RHS will be 0. So immediately we can remove x minus 20 from LHS and we can write over there 1. And same thing we will do in the RHS also. So I will write here 1, 2 times 1, 2 times 1, RHS will be 1. Now I need to multiply our denominator brackets. So I will write 2 is common here, 1 over 
x minus 5 times x minus 35. x square minus 40x 5 times 35. 175 will write plus sign 175. Plus 1 over x square minus 40x plus 7 times 33. We will be writing 231. So let me write here plus 231. RHS is 1. Now we have to split 175 and 231. So I can write 175 as 203 minus 28. 231. We will write 203 plus 28. Let me write here 2 times 1 over x square minus 40x then 175 is there i will be writing 203 minus 28 this is 175 plus 1 over x square minus 40x 231 we can split 203 plus 28 203 plus 28 is 231 and RHS is 1. Now we can assume x square minus 40x plus 203 equal to suppose t. So let me write here. Let us say x square minus 40x plus 203 equal to t. So our equation will be in t. We will write 2 times 1 over t minus 28 plus 1 over t plus 28 equal to 1. Now we have to take LCM one more time. We will write t plus 28 plus t minus 28 over t minus 28 times t plus 28. Here we will apply difference of two squares formula. So we can write t square minus 28 square in the denominator. Multiplier is 2. RHS is 1. Now plus 28 and minus 28 will be over from the numerator. t plus t is 40. So we can write directly 40. t plus t is 2t. 2t times 2 is 40. So in the denominator we can write t square minus 28 square is 784 equal to 1. Now we will cross multiply. So I will write t square minus 784 equal to 2 times 2t is 40. Take all the terms to one side. We will write t square minus 40 minus 784 equal to 0. Now we are going to use completing the square method. So I will add 784 to both sides or we can take minus 784 to RHS. So we will write t square minus 40 in the LHS and in the RHS we will write 784. Now we are going to add 4 to both sides. So plus 4, plus 4. Now LHS will give us one perfect square of t minus 2. So I can write here t minus 2 whole square will be equal to 788. Now we have to take a square root both sides. So I will write here t minus 2 will be equal to plus minus a square root of 788. Now we can factor 788. It will be 197 times 4. So I can write here plus minus 2 times a square root of 197. This will be equal to t minus 2. Now we have to add 2 to both sides. So to get the value of t, so I will write here 2 plus minus 
टू टाइम्स स्क्वायर रूट वन नाइनटी सेवन दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ टी एंड टी वॉज अवर सब्सटीट्यूशन टी वॉज एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फोर्टी एक्स प्लस टू हंड्रेड एंड थ्री लेट एस प्लग इन सो लेट मी राइट हेयर टी इक्वल टू टू प्लस माइनस टू स्क्वायर रूट वन नाइनटी सेवन नाउ टी वॉज एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फोर्टी एक्स प्लस टू हंड्रेड थ्री इक्वल टू टू प्लस माइनस टू स्क्वायर रूट वन नाइंटी सेवन अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू यूज कंप्लीटिंग द स्क्वायर मैथड सो आई विल सब्ट्रैक्ट टू हंड्रेड थ्री फ्रॉम बोथ द साइड फर्स्ट सो आई विल राइट हेयर एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फोर्टी एक्स इन द एल एच एस एंड इन द आर एच एस विल बी राइटिंग टू प्लस माइनस टू स्क्वायर रूट वन नाइंटी सेवन माइनस टू जीरो थ्री नाउ वी कैन सिंप्लीफाई आर एच एस टू माइनस टू हंड्रेड थ्री इज माइनस टू हंड्रेड वन प्लस माइनस टू स्क्वायर रूट वन नाइंटी सेवन and our lhs is x square minus 40x coefficient of x in lhs is minus 40 half of that will write 20 square of that it is 400 so i will add 20 square both sides so i will write here 20 square now lhs will give us one perfect square of x minus 20 And in RHS, 20 square is 400. 400 minus 201 is 199. Plus minus 2 square root 197. Now we have to take a square root both sides to get the values of x. So if I will write our equation here, so we will get. After taking a square root both sides, x minus 20 equal to plus minus a square root of 199 plus minus two times a square root of 197. Now we are going to add 20 to both sides to get our solutions. So plus and minus 20 will be over. We are going to get x equal to 20. Plus minus a square root of 199 plus minus two times a square root of 197. So if I will write here, our x1 was zero, our x2 was 20, and then three, four, five, six, four solutions are here. so out of six solutions if we will find the largest root then we have to pick largest root from here with all positive signs so i can write my final answer for x largest will be equal to 20 plus square root of 199 Plus two times the square root of one hundred and ninety-seven. So this is our final answer. I hope, friends, you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.